In this video, I will show you how to record a voice over a PowerPoint presentation, how to edit that audio snippet and how to save the presentation, including the voiceover. I believe that's quite helpful nowadays, either to record educational sessions for a school or university, to create an engaging presentation at work that can be shared with colleagues, or to record holiday or Christmas greetings that can be sent to your loved ones. So having PowerPoint open, there is two ways that let you add your voice over a presentation. First, you go to the Insert tab under the section Media at the very right-hand side. There you find the audio symbol with two drop-downs that appear if you click on the symbol. On the one hand, you can insert an existing audio file from your PC, or you can directly record your voice within PowerPoint without the need for any other third-party software. The same functionality can also be found under the Record tab, where again there's the audio symbol with the two functionalities. Don't be confused, there is no difference between the two buttons and both lead you to the same functionality, just from different tabs. In this video, we are only going to take a look at the second method, namely to directly record your voice within PowerPoint. If you would also like to know how to add an existing audio file to PowerPoint, let me know in the comments down below. Now, if you click on record sound, a small pop-up will appear. This gives you the possibility to name your recording, start and stop. Also, you see the total length of your recording. For example, if you would like to do an introduction to a presentation, you could label the recording introduction and press the record button to record just a few welcoming words such as good afternoon and welcome to this PowerPoint voiceover tutorial. To stop the recording, you can press the stop button and to directly play it back, you can press the start button. If you like your recording, you can press OK. Otherwise, you can just press the record button again to override the initial recording. Assuming you like your recording, press OK and such a speaker symbol will appear on your slide. If you hover over the speaker symbol, you can see that some prompts appear. On the left, there is the classic playback button. Then there are buttons to move 20 seconds forward and backwards. And finally, you can adjust the volume or mute the voiceover. If you click on the speaker symbol, you can also move it around and maybe put it in the lower right corner or the upper right corner of your slide. Having clicked on the speaker symbol, you will see that two new tabs have appeared in your ribbon. First, the audio format tab, and second, the playback tab. On the audio format tab, you can change the layout of your speaker symbol and, for example, add a border or a background or change the color. On the playback tab, you can edit your recording. So when you play it back, you can add bookmarks, for example, at points where you might want to edit your clip. Having added some bookmarks, you could use them to trim your clip, so for example to cut out a few seconds at the beginning or the end. You could also add a fade in or a fade out to your clip or adjust the volume. Very important is that you set the start time of your clip. The default is automatic playback, meaning it will automatically playback when someone moves to that slide in presentation mode. You can also change that to in click sequence, meaning within the sequence of other items that might move when clicked on, or you can set it to when clicked on. That means the audio will only play back if you click on the symbol when being in presentation mode on that slide. If you have several slides in your presentation where you want to add voice, you can do that slide by slide. Also, you can add several voice snippets to one slide. Once you're finished and would like to save and share your file, there are several options. First, you can save the file as a standard PowerPoint file with the suffix pptx. Then the receiver can open it just as a standard PowerPoint presentation in edit mode. You can also save the file as a PowerPoint show with the suffix PPSX. That means when clicking on the file, it will directly open in presentation mode and not in edit mode. And third, you could also save the file as a video, so either as a MP4 or WMF file. These files will be slightly larger, but will be able to open with any standard video player. That's it for now. Thanks for watching and have fun creating your own voiceovers for your PowerPoint presentation.